Hello there, and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up, guys, and welcome back to Season 3, Episode 1 of Build It Better. Yay, Build It Better. Uh, yeah, Season 3. So anyways, uh, what is going on with Season 3? What is new from Season 2? Well, Season 2, we ran out of room. Um... And we came up with the 10K map, and that is where Season 3 is going to be taking place. Uh, we will continue the same uh, synapsis or <laughs> content type thing with uh, the Build It Better series. Uh, we will go through, I will build a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> uh, I will go through and tell you the thought process, um, some tips and tricks to how I came up with what I came up with. Um, and basically some uh, building tips that I can think of along the way. Um, it's a big inspirational series. should give everybody some really great ideas um, on how to make your world a lot better. Hence the name, Build It Better. Um, so if you haven't watched the first season, um, go back, catch the first season, at least the first uh, 13, 14 episodes. That'll give you the basics um, to everything that I do, and I still use that in every one of my builds. Um, those... 12 or 13 main tips that I give away in the first uh, the first season. Um, nothing has changed. I still do everything the exact same way. Um, just the more you build, the better you're going to get. Um, if you haven't blown it up, uh, tore it out, or <laughs> you should be building it better. Um, and that's and that's what we're doing. So season three, um, we are going to start here on the docks. If hopefully you see, saw the uh, promo preview video for season three, and uh, we've got a new thumbnail now. I hope you guys like that. It should be pretty awesome. I've been sitting on that thumbnail for a long, long time, <clears throat> and uh, really wanted to be using it. Um, we're at nighttime because the docks look a hell of a lot more realistic, and they look just right down jolly. <laughs> Loving it. Um, so we're basically we're going to take a tour here in the first episode. I'm going to go through. I'm going to show you the new cranes. Um, some talk about some of the the containers, the new container ships. Um, we'll head on over to uh, the the military <laughs> naval station. I had to think there for a minute and uh, and talk about some things over there and and what where we're going to be going and what we're going to be trying to do in this season. Uh, I've got some more done since the uh, preview video. I've got some more roads in. Um, this is me at work in progress, uh, how I lay out my corners. Uh, so basically I pick a size, this is I think 21 by 21, makes a nice inside radius. And um, this will be my center block for the rest of it. So when I curve out the rest of my roads, I will use that. Uh, this will be uh, 21 blocks, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 is my radius. So uh, 26 times 2, uh, fuck. 52 uh, so it'll be a 53 circle is what I'll use because um, you got to count the center block duh, and try to keep as always everything odd and then so on and so forth count for the middle and then the next one and then count the next one out and then the final dark gray one so there'll be one two three four five six total radius corners over here when this is done and then I'll do the same thing down on the other side um, so there's uh, some some tips there for you on how to round off your corners and get rid of this this square look you're gonna have to make them square first um, and then go back through and and pick a corner start with your inside radius again um, 21 is nice um, it's, it's it's a nice nice radius 43 circle I believe it is um, if you were to build the whole thing out somewhere around in there uh, again I don't use anything specific I just grab something that I think looks like it will fit and nine times out of ten uh, it does and I, I don't have to usually go back and rip it out um, as far as easy stuff like that now the bigger stuff yeah like the cranes behind me um, those got uh, changed several times and they'll probably uh, change a few more between this and the final tutorial when it does come out um, I used a lot of pictures I watched a lot of videos and this is what I came up with uh, with my design. <clears throat> the original design was too wide. And I, you guys know, I just was just talking. I don't usually do. Is there something wrong with that fucking wheel? There is something wrong with that fucking wheel. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of my sword. I was killing assholes um, on my damn map up near the docks. Get in there. Oh, I need to go this way. You slut. 
<laughs> there we go. Um, I was killing assholes. I had a lot of sheep and chickens and a bunch of unwanted animals up there on the docks. Um, so I changed the game rule and put in to no mob spawning, but they were already on the map. Uh, so I went up and spent about 30 minutes just killing all those this morning. Lots of fun. Uh, this is probably not going to be the final map that I'm going to be using. The map for uh, the one that I'm using right now. The link is in the description. That's the custom 10k map. Uh, this is sitting on that map for now. I've got it laid out. I'm going to run out of room. Uh, so I've been working on the map uh, the past couple weeks trying to do push this all back. Uh, I thought it would be nice to have some nice little hills and stuff near the docks, uh, but I made it too close. Uh, same thing with the river that I had coming in. <laughs> I had to build over top of it. Uh, this thing takes up a lot of damn room, uh, a lot more than I thought it was going to, so I'm still reworking the map, uh, and then I'll just pick this up with MC Edit and drop it down on the new map uh, when that's done, and we'll have a version 2 of the, uh, of the builder's map. Uh, the stuff that I will be putting on this season into the new map uh, will not have a download until later in the season. Oh, there's a fucking chicken. Oh, chicken. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, as far as map downloads, the last Build It Better uh, Season 2 finale, I guess you could call it, uh, final map download, that will be the final map download for that particular world. I will not be uh, building on that world anymore. I'm going to be transferring everything from Season 1 and Season 2 onto the big map like I had originally discussed in the 10K uh, map video. So that's what I'll be doing is I'm making specific areas for the 2500 uh, block town city that I'm working on. It's got the Chick-fil-A and all that. That's going to be moved on to here. Um, all my highways and expressways uh, are going to be out here, probably starting out when I get this flattened out. Um, lots of railroad tracks are going to be on this side. Um, still got to put in all the uh, all the train lines, so that's going to take up a lot of room. And then some more storage for offloading of the trains. That's going to take up room. And then the main highway will be behind that. Um, I already have the the main highway built and put into a schematic, uh, so I can just drop that on when it's ready. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, back to the crane. Got a little sidetracked. This is the design that I came up with. Changed several several times. Uh, ended up outlining it and figuring out where to put some lights. Um, and my spreaders are shit. They're they're really really cheap and cheesy. Uh, I will go back and and add some more stuff to them. Um, all of them are the same, even the ones on the main uh, uh, the main cranes up there, the main gantry cr uh, cranes. The uh, the spreaders are very very cheap. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will, I will come back and redesign those. The lifting system I like is good. Uh, a nice uh, pulley system, two wheels uh, with your, your cables going up into the motors up here. Um, and then just some random engine shit here, uh, just for some small detail. Again, uh, just something to put on top so I didn't have a bright uh, big orange pad on the very top of this thing. It started outlining the, uh, the, the platform up here in iron bars. Um, and then around out here, and then they started connected to the, uh, the sidewalk areas, their maintenance area, and that looked like complete shit. Um, so I kind of downgraded and stopped the fencing and the railing to here. Uh, I got a access point. So imagine if uh, you came up the stairs and got on over there would be um, uh, your door where you get in and then walk into the sides on either side. Um, in this position, you know, we could mount, knock that out if we want to. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, but anyways, you can walk in here and then climb down inside. And there's nothing fancy, just a couple controls and some glass on the on the on the deck here, so you can see um, the container that you're working with. Um, nice little design. I like it. Turned out really good. Happy with it. Uh, the bigger ones turned out even better. Really, really happy with those. Uh, and then just basically, uh, once I got a really, really good design, I just repeated it and moved it around so that we had, you know, random is <laughs> Is that a word? Uh, it's going to be um, a lot of randomization. There we go. Uh, through this side of the dock and the other side um, is pretty much a mirrored version of the cargo uh, container area. Uh, I just moved 
all the uh, the gantry cranes around in different positions on the other side to make it look different. Uh, but all the containers on the other side is just a mirrored version of the first seven rows, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, originally I started off with just a holding area with a bunch of lines. Uh, it looked really, really cheap. Just didn't have a lot of detail to it. Uh, so I went back, watched more videos, uh, looked at some more pictures, and, and this is what I came up with. And I think this turned out really, really awesome. Uh, I know some dock systems, the trucks drive straight in, drive under the cranes, the cranes pick it up, and then load right off the trucks, or they have designated trucks that bring it from the shipping yard. Uh, some have, and we'll get to it up here in a minute, the uh, straddle carts. Uh, I can't remember exactly what they're called. They're straddle something. Uh, but basically, they, uh, they straddle the containers. They pick them up. They bring them over here. They set them down on a uh, holding block or a, a load block. And then the cranes pick it up and load them. Um, that's kind of where I'm at. That's what I want to use with this, uh, with my dock system. Uh, it's kind of based off of uh, Singapore's... Uh, huge uh, mega build dock that they're putting out in the ocean uh, I watched the video on that was really fucking impressed with that and that's kind of what I'm going for here um, my cranes are based off the uh, mayor terminal um, so that's that's kind of where I got that design from and again a lot of pictures uh, as far as scaling goes I found uh, <laughs> after I built the first version of these I found a scaled version that uh, that shows some of the dimensions um, uh, 30, me 30 meters in between here, I think, um, and 50-something meters high. Anyways, I'll superimpose a picture. Um, mine had to go bigger uh, because of the CMS Colombo. Uh, the main uh, the main bridge up here was a lot taller because of Minecraft. We get three-foot blocks. Uh, it ended up being about 25 meters taller than what it normally is. So I had to overscale just a little bit, uh, make the outer boom just a little bit longer and make the back boom just a little bit longer. Uh, so when you're building things to scale, yes, sometimes you will have to adjust. And um, when you overscale, it still makes everything else look to scale as long as you do it right. Take your time, don't do too much. Um, the biggest thing is detail. As long as you detail it out, nobody is going to notice that this crane is actually fucking bigger than what it should be. <laughs> have you noticed? Nope. And probably wouldn't have unless I had told you that. Um, so yeah, the CMS Colombo is to scale. Um, it is 300 and some odd blocks long and 41 wide, I believe. I don't have the exact dimensions. Um, so there is the Colombo and uh, some of the new anchoring system that I'm working on with, uh, with this ship. I uh, use some cobwebs for the roping. Um, looks good from a distance, uh, not so good up close. Uh, it's what we got. Um, I probably will not run it down to the pier. Um, I mean, I'm putting in the uh, the bullets, or shit, I can't think what they're called now. Uh, anyways, the uh, tie-off blocks. Working with some different designs here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm 100% set with this. Just a damaged anvil and some uh, uh, cobblestone wall. Uh, my original designs... Uh, of my docks the stone wall comes all the way down and then there's a torch on top with the iron bars in the middle um, that's getting a little old looking uh, most of your docks they, they don't have anything to prevent you from falling in just don't be a dumbass uh, so I'm starting to remove those and the torch lighting um, again looks very medieval it does not look modern so I'm trying to do uh, lighting underneath so that it shines off the water it looks really really good especially in shaders uh, carving it up with a trap door uh, again f just for some style for some looks um, the the uh, the block that I have in this pack looks really good by itself um, but I think the, uh, the the trap doors look better against the water uh, I'm working on like uh, punched out the middle again just kind of give the dock a little more um, a little more depth to it uh, I don't like it straight solid like this uh, I tried using some upside down stairs in between the blocks here and here. Um, different variations of, of doing that, and j that did not look good. Um, so yeah, a lot of trial and error, guys. You just, you got to try stuff um, and, and start, I'll always do small sections. Like I only worked on just this corner, um, reworking the dock, uh, probably 10, 15 different ways until I figure out what I want and then go on a big scale because obviously it will take you a lot longer to rip out the whole damn thing. 
So always work in small scale, small corners, small uh, mock-ups is, uh, is what I call them, a mock-up area. And, uh, and, and then go ahead and you know continue on through the rest of your world uh, changing things over. That way you don't get all the way through and have a fucking mess. Now if you're on PC it helps. It helps. It does help a lot. Um, there is a lot of MC edit used in the repeatedness of the cranes, uh, moving things around, stripping things out, putting down uh, the massive platform. Um, but even with MC edit guys, I still have probably 60 hours plus or more, um, probably more, just in what I've got done so far. Uh, so yeah, MC edit does save a lot of time, but it's <laughs> these big bells like this, they do, they take time. Um, and the more time that you put into them, the better they are going to look. Uh, the more detail that you put into them, the better they're going to look. So you can have, you know, if these cranes hadn't have turned out as good as they had, um, all the detail around it, it would blend in and it would still look really, really fabulous. Um, just because I took the time to make everything else around it look more realistic or more look like more like it's supposed to. That's why you want to use a lot of pictures. You want to have a lot of reference pictures, something to go by. Um, a lot of the the older YouTube videos, I don't see a lot of doc videos. Um, they're a lot two three years old, anyways. Um, they're very straight. They're very plain. There's there's just nothing to their cranes. There's nothing to their docks. Um, of course, this is to scale. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a lot bigger than what you're going to see in a lot of other videos where they've got one small little um, 7,500 block cargo ship and you know a 30. Uh, 30 block high crane. So yeah, it's going to look different. This is this is the scale, so it's it's going to look a lot a lot a lot better. Anyways, um, I guess we can go up top and we can look at the uh, the top portion of the crane. This is where a lot of the detail comes in. There's really not much down on the bottom. Uh, the only thing that I did leave off is the um, uh, the wheel on the side, and I don't know a lot about ga uh, gantry cranes. Um, just what I've I've looked up, but there's a big wheel on the side and it contains the cable and I think it's for the piece that moves across I'm not a hundred percent sure um, The cables that run into the side into the motors into here. Um, I believe it feeds off of that wheel uh, I didn't like it. I, I don't like it. It looks gaudy. Um, I know it's on most of your uh, super cranes. I just didn't feel like putting it on mine um, and, and I probably won't um, for the obvious fact is you know I don't want to run you know a bunch of fence posts up here and try to make it look like cabling I just think it would uh, take away from the look of the crane so there's another tip you don't always have to put everything on your builds to make them hundred percent accurate or you know hundred percent scale or whatever you want to add your own flavor to it um, your own design and, uh, and just use something for a reference and then work off that um, here's my little cabin design. I think that turned out really, really good. Um, and I did make sure that <laughs> everything clear is underneath. So when this moves forward, if it, it did, um, it will, will not hit anything. Uh, and then a place for you to get into the, uh, the main cabin down here. Come down the side. And then in through the fences. And of course, if that's out further, if you mount it somewhere else, you know, these would be closed. Uh, just for realism. And this, of course, is a bigger cabin than the smaller gantry crane. I got a lot, a lot more window uh, viewability, so I can look at the uh, the container that we're working on right below us. Um, can look where we're going to be going out to the cargo ship. So all this is wide open, uh, lots of view, viewability, lots of view, <laughs> whatever. Uh, anyways, so that is the top of the gantry crane. I think it turned out really, really good. Um, some of these um, have a you know, like a, uh, a work building inside here um, bathroom stuff like that I guess I don't know I've never been in one um, I also think it is a counterweight um, for the gantry crane so this probably has a uh, substantial counterbalance weight for uh, the front nose piece um, again I may be wrong I don't know but that's uh, that's that's the way I uh, interpreting it um, did use some redstone torches um, a first thing I've used in, in my builds uh, that I haven't used unless I'm using redstone wiring, which I don't do anymore, um, adds a really nice touch for um, <laughs> low plane lighting. So when you know low planes come through, they can see uh, anything that's 
you know, over 150 feet or whatever the hell it is, you know, should have some lighting on it for, you know, for airplanes and it should be red. Um, so that worked out really, really nice, uh, really nice detail on the big cranes. Uh, so anyways, there's the rest of the container area. Uh, and we'll slowly get over here. Yes, this is just a huge, huge area. I mean, you can tell just with me walking <laughs> how long it would take to get from one side to the other. Um, all right, these are the, uh, the container straddlers. This is uh, design number one. Um, thought that turned out really, really good uh, playing around with it. And uh, let's just kind of fly around, take a look at it. Uh, made sure I made my uh, dimensions for three containers high is, is what I'm going. There's some that are four. The gantry cranes will go four. Um, these will only go three. Um, again, a scaling problem with Minecraft. Um, these can usually straddle, I think, up to four. Um, I've seen them on four in some pictures. Um, but then it gets too tall, and then this part of the crane um, gets too tall, and then that sets everything else off. So I started with the ship, and then I worked on the crane, um, came up with a container that fit, uh, container size that fit the ship. I know there's several different sizes of containers, 20 foot, 40 foot, um, the short stubs, you know, stuff like that. Um, but I went with my standard uh, um, container that I use on my uh, shit, my trucks, my truck tutorial. I shrank it down just a little bit. These are 17 long, 17 uh, meters, I guess you'd call it. Uh, I don't know what that comes out in feet, 46 feet or some kind of bullshit anyways. It's close, close enough. Um, that way everything came out really, really nice and even across the cargo ship um, and all the, way, all the way even to the front. And then I turned it two sidewards on the back. So started with the ship, got that size, uh, got the containers where they would fit the ship, and then everything else is going to have to scale off of that. So the containers, uh, the cranes were scaled off to that and the size of the ships. So of course, I went with one of the biggest ships in the world. Um, that way, every other ship that I build underneath this will obviously fit. <laughs> so, you know, planning ahead, thinking ahead of, of how your, you know, your dock system is going to work. Um, plays a big role in everything not just not just the ship not just the crane by itself you can't just start with the crane and then build a ship or you can't just you know build the containers and then you know you, then you got the trucks to worry about well what can the trucks then i got to redesign the trucks um so i actually backtracked several several times um because <laughs> everything was changing um the straddlers didn't fit so i had to change the container size then i had to recust then i had to go back to the ship and, uh, and change the divider walls and the depth. Um, <laughs> a lot of work, a lot of work, guys. Um, this is design number two. I like this a lot better. Um, it looks it looks uh, thinner, more sleeker, uh, like the actual straddle carts do, or machines, whatever the hell you want to call them. Um, these turned out a lot better. There's not as much stuff. This looks like it's got too much stuff on. It looks too bulky, too thick. Um, so I thinned it down and this is what I came up with. I think this turned out really, really good. Um, and then the, uh, the spreaders on top here. Um, we'll probably change over to a different material. That kind of blends in just a little bit too much. Um, it's kind of hard to tell what it is, um, but that's what I came up with for right now. And then on top through some comparators and some blocks and some buttons just for some motor type stuff that drives the hydraulics for the lifts. Um, and then the ladder, the ladder coming up to the side and then the control room cabin again with glass on the bottom so that, you know you can see the container underneath uh, still not quite where it needs to be because the container is back kind of that way but it helps with lining up the front if they line up the front they can line up the back uh, that's that's the way I'm gonna interpret that in my world uh, underneath uh, took me a while to figure out how these actually attached to the containers because I like I said I don't live around a shipping dock so I can't go look um, I'm not around a big shipping center or a truck uh, shipping center so I don't really know how the containers work but after looking at some videos and some actual uh, construction sites there's a twist lock on the corners um, I can't make them I can't put them on or it would look really stupid it would be way too way too long um, I had buttons on the original on the original design uh, I took the buttons off, um, but anyways, they go there, and then on the corners of the containers, there are holes uh, down in here where that uh, that locks locking system goes down in, and then it twists, 
um, and locks into all four corners and that's how it lifts it up. Uh, so on the gantry cranes and even on these, um, those male-female systems go in, they hit a button and it locks in and then they can lift it up and carry it wherever they want. Um, pretty fucking cool. Uh, smaller shipping yards have the, uh, the overhead gantry cranes that they run with remotes and stuff like that or forklifts. Um, there will be a, like a manual control that they, uh, they lock into the containers. Uh, so if you're building this on a smaller scale, it uh, kind of gives you an idea of, of how it works. It's always good to get an idea of how things work. Um, that way when you build it, it makes a little more sense, uh, especially when you know, you're laying things out and you're putting things where you, know, you think they look good. Um, you still want to have some sense, of, um, some sense of realism behind it. Well, yeah, that, it works like that because of this. Um, so if, if, if I was going to be using semi trucks, obviously the system would be different. I would design my system different. Um, but this is what I'm going with and, and <laughs> that's what works in my world. Um, and then of course against some more randomization, uh, we've got a ship that just pulled in. It's either, either just got loaded or it's getting to be getting ready to be unloaded. And um, that can be interpreted either way. Um, and it's the same with this one. Uh, they're just starting to get ready to load this one or they're just finishing the last of it. Um, so there's the inside. You didn't get a real good look at um, on the flyover. Uh, preview video. Sorry, my throat. <clears throat> a little hoarse today, guys. A little hoarse. I haven't done a video in a long, long time. And I'm um, trying to get a lot done today and uh, probably already losing my voice because of it. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, so we got some uh, some different uh, cargo uh, containers going into some different areas. Here's a little closer look at the, uh, uh, the main bridge tower area on the Colombo. And uh, this build was actually inspired. There's a guy on uh, PMC. That, that built the Colombo did a really nice job. I actually downloaded the schematic um, just to compare mine to his. Um, his is uh, a little longer, a little bit bigger than mine, um, and the overall design is is, is different. Um, so if you do pull it up, hey, you copied off PMC. No, it, it was inspired um, from uh, his build. It's it's not his build. It's mine, 100%. Uh, always is. Um, but I do use other resources, um, just like you guys do. You use other pictures, use other videos, use other tutorials. There's nothing wrong with that um, for inspiration. Now, if you take you know certain parts of it, um, you know, then of course give credit. Um, I, di I didn't take any parts of his. Uh, I just looked at the pictures, looked at the, his scaling, and said, okay, yeah, mine, mine's better. <laughs> I like mine better, anyways. Um, so that's you know that's how you can uh, use other reference material without needing to actually have to you know should out of respect you know you know give credit to uh you know people when they come up with their designs i'm sorry i can't remember the guy's fucking name not right off the top of my head he hasn't been active over there for like two or three fucking years anyways um if you want to go over and look him up at csm uh, cms colombo uh you can pull up his design and you know and check it out um i just can't give him a, a name shout out because I, I just i don't have it don't, don't have it memorized it was a couple weeks ago um, but anyways, um, so that's, you know, that's how we, you know, we kind of do the credit thing here, guys. Um, you know, if you guys use my build, you know, hey, you know, I got the inspiration for Jack Thunder 1. This ain't his tutorial, but I used it as inspiration. Or I used the top part and rebuilt the bottom part. Something along them lines. You know, some people do uh, have, have questions on how to do that. But anyways, that's here and over there. You should have some idea of how to do that anyways. Let's fly down here really fast, um, and we will look at... Uh, the trains uh, I have them in the world again just sitting here they're not where they're going to end up going um, they're just in here for scaling purposes so that I could build the the new container system uh, carts for the containers so I had to rescale these and kind of redesign something for that um, threw my engines in uh, again used a container train for an idea two forward one back same with the other end when it gets stretched out a lot longer um, and did mention I uh, in my update video, my monthly update video, I've got some I'm, I've got some new trains. Uh, a subscriber of mine, and I will mention this later on when I start building uh, the trains. He has made some really nice uh, redesigns of these. Uh, he's he's used the base model tutorial for this train, and he went through and made. Uh, several different variations of them and they look great they look awesome so I asked him if I could borrow them for this series this particular build um, I'll give him shout out for his redesign of it uh, when the time comes and he was like hey, absolutely um, and he's over on a server that uh, 
I will shout out later on. Uh, people can go over and check that out and, uh, and, and see what they got going on over there. Uh, but anyways, the containers I didn't mention, uh, I came up with about eight or nine designs uh, and then just mass produced them and spent several days just randomizing each stack uh, just to give uh, some variety. I've got some solid colored ones, um, not too many. Uh, some that's got like some, you know, some labeling on the side, labeling on the back, um, certain logos. This is the, uh, uh, fuck the Lloyd, Hapag Lloyd uh, shipping container logo. It's got like two arrows on it and it's blue and orange. Um, that again was inspired from the original CS, uh, CMS Colombo build. Um, that's what he used on his. Um, his are pretty close to that, not exactly the same. Uh, but that's that's where that came from, and that's why the first ship is fully loaded with um, those because it is the bag Lloyd, and um, it's I don't know, it fit it looks really nice. There's a there's a model that Ravel makes uh, that you can actually build the ship, and it is full of uh, those containers. Uh, so that's why that one has that, and not a lot of just random colored ones. This one here is getting loaded with uh, several random colored ones. <clears throat> so that's where my my brain thinking was on that particular uh, style. Why that ship got all orange containers, and well, the whole yard has mixed containers. Well, you know that's that's why. Um, so, anyways, all right, uh, that can t uh, pretty much takes care of the uh, shipping docks for now. Um, I am slowly trying to move in my uh, battleships, Battleship Row, the Amato, Missouri, um, Bismarck, and my first battleship. <laughs> That's what MC Edit does. <laughs> I, um, I mirrored this. Uh, so I put it in and mirrored it, and my 63s came out backwards. <laughs> Didn't realize until after I made the preview video and... Well, that's what happened, so I'll, I'll have to uh, fix that eventually. Still deciding, again, this is, uh, I'm using the world as a test world right now just to see what fits, how much room I actually need, um, where things might possibly go uh, in the future as far as in uh, relation to the shipping dock. Do I really want it this close? Um, I'm going to need a lot of parking area this time. In the old world, I had a little bit of parking. Nowhere near what I actually need for uh, a naval base or you know a, a, a shipping shipping area uh, nowhere near what I need <laughs> so um, through this in here do I want to turn them sideways going away from the dock or do I want to go standard like I did in the other world and like Nor uh, I'll probably use Norfolk Naval Station because that's where I was stationed as my inspirational area for using uh, my naval base struggling for words sorry guys um, which they have a shipping area right next to the naval base. So that's why I'm, you know, <laughs> kind of thinking of putting it here. Uh, that, and this is the only straightest, longest, flattest piece of this whole custom world. And that's what I originally designed it for, was the military naval station. I had no idea I was going to be putting in the, uh, the shipping yard at that point. And now that I have, this has taken up over a thousand, I think a thousand blocks long, or at least, uh, in the whole... Uh, original coastline was only like 3,000. Uh, so yeah, this shit takes up a lot of, lot of fucking room. Um, so if you're wanting to build scale, if you want to build some really big shit, download this map. Uh, you're going to need the room. It's, it's, there's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And this is just on the shoreline. Uh, I've got a really big, wide open area, think another three, 4,000 blocks deep uh, that the city needs to go in. Um, so yeah, <laughs> a lot, a lot of plans, um, a lot of ideas, uh, laying everything out is, is the biggest, is probably what takes the longest. Um, because as I, as I build things, as I add on to them, they obviously get bigger, they push into other things. Um, and this year we're going to, we're going to try to keep things separate. We're going to try to get a build done, um, and then work something in next to it, and then work some, something in next to that, and then try to work the city back into that. So this season, we're going to be adding to the map. Um, if, if you see it in the background, it's just because I'm trying to judge the distance uh, as a reference point to where everything else is sitting. Uh, probably will not be permanently. That way I can move it and shift it and adjust the custom map as needed uh, as we you know progress through the season. Um, so anyways... Hopefully should have given you guys some really good ideas 
Uh, the biggest thing to take away from episode one here is planning. Always plan ahead. Always um, draw pictures. Um, use Photoshop and you know you know uh, put some images together. Uh, mix and match. I spend a lot of time on Google Images. Um, don't just put in shipping cranes, um, jib cranes, anything that has the word crane in it. Um, any place that that crane is used, uh, docks, shipping docks, freight docks, containers, uh, will will bring up other images um, of what you're actually looking for. Uh, should know that you know maybe that's a good tip for you people are just like why well, jag i just can't find images of what i'm what i'm looking for well try putting in names of uh you know things that it's used with things that it's used around and you and you'll come up with uh you know something you know something that you're probably looking for how many pictures do i need <clears throat> i don't know as many as you think it'll take uh, every time i do a build i've got anywhere between 20 and 100 um, different pictures for uh, for each build. This build in particular, the docks, I've got probably almost 65, 70 pictures um, of just different cranes, containers, trains, trains with containers, <laughs> cranes with containers, ships with containers, um, whole shipping dock areas um, that I put in a folder on my desktop and that is my research. Um, and that's why I think and I feel my builds um, show all the work that's that that's put in behind it and why they look so detailed and why they look you know god they you know they, they look real um the spacing the sizing everything looks real um it's because i take a lot of time a lot more probably a lot more prep time uh before i make the build than actually you know getting in there and building and then i go back and i'll do some more uh reference work and well that don't look right let me get some more pictures and and you know change this a little bit change that a little bit so anyways long story short the biggest thing to get out of this episode and hopefully this whole season is preparation take everything that we've learned from the first season the second season and push it into this third season into advanced building techniques uh that whatever you have whatever you're going to build you get an idea in your head don't just try to go build it don't you don't know how much room you're going to fucking need you have no idea how much room it's going to take up you can look at a spot and say oh it'll fit here no it won't chances are there's a good chance it's not going to fit there and you're going to your work and your your build is going to suffer because of it a, a lot of times i see a lot of good builds will suffer because they are choked um, a lot of my builds from season two um in season one got choked um the, the airfield was sitting right on top of the space shuttle. Uh, obviously, the plane takes off. It, it, it's not realistic. It just, it's going to run right into it. There was no way in hell that would ever uh, even be believable. Um, but it looked good. The build itself looked good, but the overall surrounding area choked it out and made it look bad. Um, so like, that's, that's the, biggest, you know, the biggest thing is, is preparation. Try to lay things out um, and just take your time. You know, this, is, this is an awesome game. Um, there's a lot of things that can be done with it. And um, you shoot yourself in the foot if you just just jump in there and just try to build something. Um, unless you've got several years experience like me, I've been doing this for almost four years now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna jump in there and I'm just gonna start building shit. Uh, one because I've got MC Edit to back me up. Uh, if I fuck up, I'll just rip it out. <laughs> you know, whatever. Uh, so, anyways, that's it. That's the end of episode one. I really hope you guys got a lot out of this. It's gonna be a really good season. Um, you know, probably a week or two between each, you know, each video, maybe even three. Um, but at least one uh, one video a month is what I'm going to be shooting for, maybe even two, um, just because I need to, you know, I need that time, I need that prep time to get things built in the background, um, you know, get things situated the way, I, the way that I want them, and then we'll come back in and we'll talk about them a little bit more. Um, I don't really want to do a play with um, series out of this. Uh, I, I think it's those get drawn out, they get really boring. Um, you know, like, you know, just watching block after block get placed, a lot of repetitive stuff getting placed. Um, and I just, I think it's easier just to come in after the fact and, and, you know, show you how I got to that point. It makes a lot more sense, I think, for you guys. So that, that's what this is. This is, you know, this is, a, you know, a nice kind of behind the eyes, you know, in the mind of the Jag, um, how he builds and how I come up with, how, you know, how I come up with what I do and what I do. Um, so anyways, that is it for, uh, episode one of build it better season three hope you guys enjoyed it uh, like always remember to rate comment subscribe and if it looks like shit tear it down blow it up or just build it better and we'll catch you guys on the next one later